So once I have my quantities and I have also the BOQ, now is the time to start the cost estimation. And to do that, the first thing I'll be doing is the cost estimation format. So I can just copy these two columns and paste them here. And I can merge these two and say here materials. And you can make this line as bold as well. I'll copy this and paste here and this will be my equipment. And then copy this and paste it here. And this will be our manpower. Let's make it a little bit smaller. And then copy this and paste it here. And this will be subcontractor. Can make this a little bigger. And then we can copy one more time. And this will be our total cost. So this format is a format that I usually use for the rate breakdown analysis. Now I am going to break down the rate of this project. Each of these items, the rate has a breakdown that includes materials to be used, equipment, manpower, subcontractor. And then when you take the submission, it will give you the total cost here. So what I can start with, I'll say this amount will be equal to this rate multiplied by this quantity. And all I have to do is to just put dollar sign next to the E column so that I can fix it. If I select everything and make this page as numbers, so I'll have a formula that multiplies the rate by the quantity. If I copy this formula here and here and here, then I have an amount for each cost element. These are called cost elements. So here, for example, for the equipment, I am multiplying the rate of the equipment by the quantity. And for the total cost, my total rate will be equal to the summation of these rates, the rate of materials plus equipment plus manpower plus subcontractor. And the amount will be equal to the same formula, which is the this rate multiplied by the quantity. And here now all I have to do is to put the rate for each cost element for each item. But before I do that, I'll just generalize this formula like this for all the items. Okay, I don't need this one. So I have something that looks like that. And here what I can do, I can again say that the amount is equal to this rate multiplied by the quantity. And again, I am generalizing this formula, paste formula, and take a submission here. This will be the total of the project here, total amount. And I can take the same submission for the materials, equipment, manpower, and subcontractor, and total cost as well. I am using the same formula, which is the submission for each column. The next step will be adding a margin column here. So I can copy this, for example, and paste it here. And I don't need this upper part, but I'll just call this percentage or you can actually merge these two. And I want this column to be a percentage column and let's say 20%. So I'm going to be adding 20% to all my costs. But this is just an assumption because actually the markup will be different from an item to another item. And there is no total here. And my rate will be equal to ceiling open a bracket one plus the margin. So in that case, it will be 1.2 into the cost rate. Because I didn't close the bracket, it gives me this message, but just press enter one more time. And I'll use the same formula everywhere. Like that. So now I have my cost estimation template or sheet ready for the estimation now. And quickly, if we are meeting for the first time, I am Ahmed Adel and you are watching Cost Engineering Professional. And here I help you develop the required skills and enhance your knowledge to elevate your cost engineering career. So if this is what you want, you can quickly subscribe. So with this out of the way, let's go back and start our actual estimation now. So here I am talking about the poured concrete. And for the poured concrete items, I have first thing the concrete supply itself. So I'll say equal to here. If, for example, I am supplying the concrete at 220, so I'll say 220, or actually let's make it 200. This is the supply rate per cubic meter, and I'll multiply this by 1.1 as a wastage. So I am supplying one cubic meter plus 10% of that as a wastage. This will be the first part for the poured concrete. Equipment, maybe I will have a vibrator or some tools to use while casting the concrete. So you can add something here like five or something. And also for the manpower, you need actually some labors to do the concrete casting. So if I say, for example, a labor takes per day 150 and let's say he can cast, let's say 20 cubic meters, it will be 7.5. If I make it 25, it will be around six, which is logic. So as you can see here, I am getting the submission of the six plus five plus 220. So materials plus equipment plus manpower. 
and actually this will be general for all these items as long as you are using the same concrete mix for the PCC and for all of them. So if I say for example that for the PCC the concrete rate will be 180, so only PCC will be different from the rest of the poured concrete elements or if these items are having different mixes or something then in that case the rate will be different but I want to keep it simple so I'm going to keep all of them similar at 220 as you can see I can also copy this and go to the poured concrete of the superstructure and use the same thing because it's the same everything same concrete same equipment and same manpower so I'm having the same rate here if you take a look here you will see that we are getting a cost rate for this item of 231 but when this 231 multiplied by 1.2 it gives us a BOQ rate which is 278 but what if I increase the margin here what if I make it 30% you see this one increased I'm going back again to the 20 just to keep it simple but I'm trying to show you what this template can do now going to the steel reinforcement for the steel what do I need I just need to supply the steel and actually the quantity is measured in kilogram so here for example if per ton 2250 divided by a thousand that's the price per 1 kg 2.25 and let's multiply by 1.05 to add 5% wastage to that so this is the steel supply for the equipment here what do I need I will need some hand tools and small things like that so that you can go for something like 0.1 or something just something very small for the manpower actually here what I can do I can say that I'm going to give the steel fixing to a subcontractor or you can use your own manpower it's up to you but in this case I'll just put it under the subcontractor and I can say that for example a steel fixer daily wage is 250 and let's say he can produce 350 kilograms of steel fixing per day so that makes the steel fixing per kg 0.71 and actually this price is a little bit higher than what I am using right now in the actual life so I'm just going for let's say 400 so now I have this is the steel supply per kg 2.36 which is the 2.25 per kg plus 5% wastage and after that we have also the equipment and after that we have the steel fixing here as you can see how did I get this the daily wage divided by the productivity and for the neck columns and everything else I can copy this and paste it here so I am having the same for all the items and as you can see I am getting a total cost of 3.09 here and when you add the 20% it rounds up to the next number so I am getting 3 point something and it was rounded up to 4 as you can see here so if I copy this part and go to the steel reinforcement here I can do like that and then for the form work what do I need as materials first thing I need the plywood and the woods that I'll be using and these are actually I consider them as equipment so for example how can we estimate the cost we can say that one plywood sheet costs 120 and the area of this sheet is 3 meters so I'll divide by 3 to get the cost of one square meter of this sheet or of this plywood then I'll divide by the times or the number of times that I'll be using this plywood for and let's say I'm going to use it three times so one square meter will cost 120 divided by 30 which is 40 and if I divide the 40 by 3 it gives me that each time I will use this will cost me 13.3 actually usually I multiply this by 1.3 just to allow for everything else other than the plywood the white woods and the other stuff that the formwork needs so this is regarding the equipment and for the subcontractor I am going to need a carpenter to fix this for more and it is the same concept as we did with the steel I can say that the daily wage of a carpenter is 250 and per day he can produce 10 square meters of form work for example so I'll get a 25 per square meter and since this is measured in a square meter so that makes our calculations logical and for these items PCC foundation neck column ground beam slab on grid I don't need any scaffolding here I am only talking about wood or form work so there is no any scaffolding here these are only the calculations as you can see here now I can use the same also for the substructure but there is one difference what is the difference that for the slabs I need to add the scaffolding here so I'll say plus 10 per square meter for the slabs I need the wood 
which we talked about right now plus another 10 or 12 or something for the scaffolding and this is the renting price of the scaffolding per month so when i add the 17.3 to the 10 it gives me 27.33 so this is how we estimated the cost of concrete and reinforcement and form work but we did this on a BOQ where we had the concrete separate from the steel separate from the formwork but if they are all merged into one item which is concrete or measured in cubic meter as a concrete element and we need to put a full rate that includes everything this is what I'm going to be doing in the next video which means that this video is over and I hope you enjoyed it thank you so much for watching and thank you for your time and see you in the next video